Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for being here. This is going to be a general collective reading. Take what resonates, leave the rest. Sun, moon, rising north node as usual. All right, spirit. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Might as well. I'm going to do things a little differently. We're going to actually start off with my signs and synchronicity deck I made. Just a collection of what's in my grimoire. And we're going to go ahead and pull from the Moonology Manifestations, the Stargazing Oracle, the Vintage Wisdom Oracle, uh, the Shapeshifters Oracle, pull from the Tea Leaf, Izzy Terra's deck, Blue the Bird Lenormand, some Tarot, um, get your guidance from the Beyond Lemuria, and a final mantra or affirmation from that deck I made. It's actually two different decks in one. I made the mistake of combining them. So... That should be interesting to pull from because it's really thick. So let's get one spirit for the collective, please. All right, blue feathers. Okay, you could be seeing a blue bird as well, okay? Uh, you could just be seeing blue feathers out and about. You could be seeing images of them wherever, okay? doesn't actually have to be you come across a blue feather on the ground. But if it does pick it up, it might be a message for you that's more specific and more in tune with what you're doing in your spiritual life okay like for me i collect mine and create a shaman's fan out of them so that may be pertinent to you some kind of thing that you need for protection okay tune in time psychic powers are strong okay so whenever you see blue feathers or blue and feathers together mean that you're about to get a message message <laughs> big time message and you're not going to get it, you know, through your physical ears or physical eyes. It's going to be through your clear senses, okay? Tune in Tokyo. All right. Let's get one, please. I'll take the top. Gemini energy here, last quarter moon in Gemini, clear your mind, okay, you're going to need to do that in order to be able to receive these messages, okay, the ego chatter might be strong, okay, you might have air sign heavily in your chart, <clears throat> I just heard mercury placement might be interesting to follow at this time, okay, all right, let's see, Please. Perfect. Uranus placement. Ooh. Unexpected. Surprise. Suddenness. Revolution. Unorthodox. Freedom. Genius. Original and insight and inventions. The great awakeners here, too. I don't know if you can see that. Can you see that? I'm not crazy about my current setup, but all right. Yeah, definitely something epiphany oriented is going to happen for you okay maybe that's something that frees you from a situation you felt bound to and got you in mental imprisonment you're discovering the myriad facets of who you are okay Have compassion with yourself at this time. Listen. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And balance. Okay, this may actually balance out situations for you. Okay. Let's get three, please. I'm 
also seeing here there's an opportunity here to balance out the head and the heart, okay? Access more of your divine self, I'm hearing. Okay. Access, specifically. Snake princess, beautiful. There's a sense of renewal here. The serpentine path of power. Maybe you're going to discover that you have oracle ability, okay? The oracle of Delphi is mentioned here. The mermaid of immersion, complete commitment. And pose brave flight. You will not let fear stop you this time, okay? So maybe there's been a fear of speaking truth. I know that's a hard one. You might be a fellow reader just beginning. Um, or thinking about doing that, okay? And you're just kind of worried about how it's going to affect others. I can tell you right now, I have no idea who these readings are for. I sort of had this, you know, this vibe that I know I'm going to trigger somebody at some point, and it's probably going to be something you don't even think they're going to trigger, be triggering, okay? I've seen that happen. You can't let fear stop your commitment to something on your path, okay? you got to keep pushing forward. If you're filled with messages, they got to get out. You're a vessel, okay, for the greater good. Someone will need to hear it at some point, okay? <laughs> but you need to have that, that same kind of compassionate balance for yourself at this time, all right? That's just an example. I mean, you could be channeling through art. You could be channeling through writing, creative energy of some kind or another, okay? I'm hearing philosophy, okay? A lot of our philosophers were amazing oracles. <laughs> Masked as something else. <laughs> so, it's all part of light work, so you figure out how it works for you, okay? And just do the damn thing. All right, rat. Year of the rat might be significant. Someone working against you behind your back. One more. And Lily, spiritual love, okay. There could be a soul connection that's not quite ready to blossom yet, okay? That would be eventually part of this for you later on down the line. But I'm getting the sense that they're not quite ready. Or you're going to come up against um, naysayers, I'm going to say, okay? <laughs> Okay, that's that's going to be the title. Okay. A meme just popped up in my head. It's the haters going to hate, satyrs going to say one. Okay. <laughs> Already posted that to the community board if you want to see it. Okay. <laughs> and eventually it's going to make its way to Instagram. <laughs> I'm going to see if I could use that actually for the thumbnail. It might be there. Okay, hold on. Haters going to hate. Satyr's going to say it. <laughs> All right, that's clever, Spirit. That's funny. All right, you funny. All right, let's get two more, please. See, and that's like, you know, don't take things so seriously. You know people are only going to hear you through their ego filter, right? They haven't cleared their mind. You know, you may have been doing that to balance yourself out, right? Star, guaranteed success. Aquarian energy is here. One more. Ram. And boot. Ram. A stubborn, aggressive person. Okay. Could be dealing with an Aries as well. Boot. Increase your efforts if you want to achieve your goals. You're going to have to push through whatever blockage this person or these people are trying to provide. Okay. Hater's going to hate, Sater's going to say. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the Sater reference could be, you know, um, I don't know, an identifier for somebody. I'm immediately envisioning Pan with that one.
No one falls in love faster than an inmate. Awesome. Okay. I can see where this energy is coming from. Somebody's feeling lack. Okay. There's some kind of victim mindset here that's around you. You're going to have to cut through that noise. Stalker. Yeah, like they won't quit. They're never going to quit. One more. There's some wisdom in this situation with this person, okay, or these people. Yeah, <laughs> panic button. And you're going to actually see it, all right? If you listen real carefully to what they're not saying exactly, there may be a message in there through the this situation, these people from the divine, okay? Like if it's painfully obvious to you what the solution is to their problem, that might actually be a clue as to what direction you need to head into for something that's completely unrelated to that situation. Sometimes when we haven't been paying attention to our intuition for a long time or heeding our instincts necessarily and repeating patterns just because we're still stuck in our ego, right? Um, sometimes the divine will actually, our higher selves will communicate to us through people. And situations here okay but maybe this is a good place where, where you're supposed to be looking at right now gentlemen could be an identifier for someone ace of cups eight of pentacles could be work oriented somebody from work or someone that used to work or you worked alongside something about work this could, again, could be that hobby, okay? Whatever the purpose is here. 33, there's some miracle that's going to be exposed here in this situation. Again, that's going to be some sort of divine knowledge, okay? And 10 of swords here. A ship carrying gold sails straight into view, lined in its hold, are fortunes for you. If you should travel with a special friend, memories unfold for years upon end. Maybe this is a situation you're traveling to, okay? I'm also kind of picking up the vibe of somebody that's extremely emotionally codependent, maybe coming to you, okay? It's still going to be a very important learning opportunity, though. A stepping stone in some sort of progress, project, something like that. Some inspiration, maybe. Okay, let's keep going, Spirit. All right, as far as signs, we have Gemini, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. We have Virgo and Gemini again. Wow, that's Sun, Virgo, Sun, Gemini. Okay. We also have Aries, Year of the Rat is here. Uranus is going to be important at this time, 42, 6, June, 44, 8, August, 26, 8, eights are important, okay, so this is like definitely a return to purpose that's going to make you feel extremely abundant and happy and joyful, 28, 10, October, 36, 6, and 3, ooh, you have 333 three, three here as well, you might be seeing 3s and 4s, okay, as well as 8s. Seeing the 44, 333, three, three, and uh, the 8s. Okay. There's definitely some new beginning here that you're going to absolutely love in this situation. It's going to come across at first, though, um, something to be panicked over. Or you're going to feel that frantic energy coming from this external energy. Okay. Clarify boot. Thank you. All right. <laughs> Knight of Wands, pursuant energy. Okay. 
this could be them trying to pursue as well. Seven of Swords. I'm not liking that, but this could just be investigation too. Maybe they're just really, yeah, trying. It's got to be in the energy of needing to figure out what you're going to do and have this new beginning and take a leap of faith here, okay? I'm getting the sense of really feeling it out, but looking at all angles here, okay? Not rushing, taking your time, making calculated steps through all those candles, right? If you see this cat, he's really trying to navigate, you know, his environment carefully so he doesn't burn himself, right? One wrong step and his whole body's going to go up in flame, okay? And that would help you avoid any treachery, any deception by anyone else around you. Maybe you see this energy coming, okay? But it's going to lead you to some place that's really important for your purpose, okay? You take that leap of faith here with the, the cat. This is the fool in the deck. I love this card. It's so perfect. You can see it. <laughs> it's the glare. He's just stopping to smell things along this path. He's got all these places where he can go and check out, okay? Get a full sensory experience. Knight of Wands is also Cancer Leo energy. Seven of Swords is Moon and Libra. Yeah, Libra. Okay. So you you or them could be any any signs here. I am getting the sense here, however. You do have at least one other external energy here, okay? That's going to be this trigger to knowledge, whatever this is for you, that you're going to have to listen compassionately and maybe even balance out here. You're going to be tapping into those psychic powers of yours to really see the truth of the situation here. Okay, let's get you some guidance from Beyond Lemuria here. Take from the top. Violet Flame, 52. All right. Definitely cleansing your energy. Transmutation is here heavily. This card talks about all things energy clearing. If I can get to the page here. There we go. Your psychic toolkit, recentering practices, deepening your energetic awareness, clearing your aura, healthy energetic boundaries, protection, removing trauma from your field, maintaining a high vibration, rebalancing after times of raised frequency. Consider your psychic toolkit. Do you have a range of accessible go to practices for recentering, clean, cleansing your aura, and protecting your energy? Give me a second, guys. Hold on. <laughs> there we go dental things going on all right <laughs> still an exercise routine for psychic fitness will keep your aura strong and resilient your energy sovereign and your vibration high maintaining clear and vibrant energy will also help you see through illusions that may be blocking or disorienting you and i get a sense you're going to have that with this energy here this no one falls in love in fast, faster than an inmate energy here, okay? They could be a very emotionally, you know, abusive or manipulative person, right? Trying to get their way. Maintaining clear and vibrant energy will also, yeah, I just said that. Bring the violet flame into your meditation and self-care practices for graceful rebalance after heightened energy levels. And if you're looking for a place to go and do that, you can find tons here on YouTube. Um, everyone I've tried out pretty much over the last three years, I've added to a public playlist here on the channel for you guys. So go check that out. Okay. Should all be under meditations, <laughs> the meditations playlist. Okay. Cause they're all kind of healing in that regard. As we deepen our spiritual path, step out of illusory constructs and become self-realized empowered beings. Life may present us with more opportunities to grow than before. And I definitely get a sense that's probably what's happening here for you with this person. There's something you're going to learn 
that's going to be extremely profound, okay? <clears throat> when we explore our innate healing ability, we may experience our expanding consciousness as deeply blissful and illuminating. Our glimpses of higher awareness can be followed by periods of intensity as we return to normal. These uncomfortable experiences are shadow elements, unaligned with the higher vibration, dropping away so we can maintain our new frequency. Your sensitivity will be heightening, so it may be harder to spend time in places with frantic activity. Looking at that panic button, right? You may feel disoriented, have emotional ups and downs, and even physical symptoms. Daily practices for recentering will allow you to drop into yourself and be present and still, away from busy mind chatter and distractions. These may be things that had triggered you before, so it's an opportunity to transcend that, okay? There are so many ways to meditate, so experiment and find something that works for you. There is no way to do it wrong. Yoga, Qigong, painting, walking are just a few examples. We can learn to protect and maintain the energy we cultivate in ourselves, not from fear, but through a healthy awareness of what is ours and what is the energy of others. And I think this is going to be an example that's going to help you really ID it, okay? Especially if this is a soul connection that just happens to be karmic at this very moment, okay? As we expand our consciousness, our empathy may increase. Maintaining energetic sovereignty will allow for heartfelt exchanges with healthy boundaries. Just as we keep our body fit and healthy, it is good to ensure our energy field is free from anything that no longer serves us. We all experience some level of trauma as we go through life. The effects can stay in our aura and, if unaddressed, may influence our physical or emotional well-being. There are many ways to clear your energy field. Seeing an energetic healer or learning clearing methods you can do yourself can be helpful when you feel dense, heavy, triggered, sluggish, or down, okay? So anytime you feel that way, clear your energy. <laughs> that way you'll be able to get down to the source of the issue a little easier. <clears throat> Being able to kickstart a positive vibration so you can regain perspective can be the key to flowing through situations that seemed overwhelming or unsurmountable. Work with the violet flame to transmute anything that is not for your highest good into love. All it does is pick up the energy, turn whatever's low vibration into higher frequency. That's what it does. It lightens the load, so to speak. Okay. The violet flame is simple to visualize and a powerful tool that any can be used by anyone. Okay. Let's get you a mantra or affirmation here. They're going to make themselves known. It's going to be pretty obvious. It's going to come out of nowhere. Be like, where the hell's this been? And they could be any one of those signs. It's not you. Okay. Or you could be dealing with. This could be two Geminis because I see it here twice. Could even be, hold on a second, could be two cancers as well. So take it how it resonates, all right? All right, let's get one, please. All right, okay, good little reminder here to practice. And feel free to take notes on this if you need it for later, okay? And there should be a mantra or affirmation in the, those in that playlist as well that this is in there, okay? <laughs> There's a lot in there now. Okay. Dear Ego, everything is okay. I need this. This work is for my highest good. We need to heal. This is necessary. Okay. There you go. Hopefully that helps. Have a good one. Until next time. Bye.